Okay, now we're going to start thinking about something that gives many students and many adults nightmares. And that is the study of logarithms. Now, let me just say a couple words about logarithms before you start to doze off or panic off. A logarithm, as we're going to see, is basically just going to be the thing that's going to untangle the exponential. Remember we saw a while back, we looked at, to take a look at uh, these inverse functions. That's a function that sort of untangles the action or decodes the action of another function. Well, it turns out that the exponential function is a function that's one-to-one -one or has an inverse. And so there is some sort of way to decode the exponential in order to get back just the x. And it turns out that decoding thing we'll see is the logarithm. But don't worry about that. I'm just telling you that there's a connection between logs and exponents. But for now, what I want us to think about is what is a log? Okay, well, you know, I struggled with this when I was young. In fact, I sometimes still struggle with it. But I've really got this thing down much better since I remembered one chant. This is a chant that I want you to always remember. If you remember this chant and nothing else in life, well, then you'll be pretty pathetic. If you remember nothing else in life, because you'll forget your birthday and then your loved one. But anyway, but if you remember this chant just for logarithms, this will get you through a lot of jams. And here is the chant. A log is an exponent. Say it with me. A log is an exponent. If you remember that chant and nothing else, you can get out of almost any log jam that you get into. So let's take a look and see what exactly logarithms are and what logarithmic functions are. OK, so logarithmic function. Here we go. The thing to remember is that a log is, that means equals, an exponent. That's the little chant. That's the mantra that I want you all to, to chant. A log is an exponent. Let's see it in action. So what that means is if I write, for example, log base 2 of 8, and I want to know what that equals. This is the notation. I write log with a little subscript and a number, and then another number on the same line as the log equals something. What, what, do I, what does that mean? What does that equal? What is, how do I make sense out of that? You remember the chant. A log is an exponent. That means that this thing, so this, this whole thing, is the exponent that I have to raise this base to in order to generate that. So a log is the exponent that I have to raise that to in order to make it equal 8. You see it? This is the exponent that I have to raise 2 to to make it 8. So this is this exact same statement, the exact same statement as 2 to the question mark equals 8. These two statements, this statement and this statement, are identical. They're just two different ways of saying the exact same thing. Because a log is an exponent. It's the exponent I have to raise the base 2 in order to get 8. Well, what would that be? Well, then that means the question mark would have to be 3. Because uh, 2 cubed is 8. So log base 2 of 8 must equal 3. And why? Because a log is the exponent, the exponent I have to raise 2 to in order to get 8. That's all you have to remember. All right. So for example, let me write this down in, in general now. If I say y equals log base b of x, what does that mean? Well, that's the exact same thing as, let's chant together, a log is an exponent. So that's the exponent I have to raise this to in order to make it equal that. So a log is an exponent. That's the exponent. So that means that that raised to the exponent y must equal x. These two statements are the exact same thing. And you can take this to be the definition of log. Do you see how the log is an exponent? There's the exponent. Log equals the exponent. And there's the exponent that you have to raise b to in order to get x. All right, let's try some tricky ones. Log base 2 of a fourth. What in the world is that equal? Let's call that thing um, question mark. Or you could call it y. I'll call it question mark just because I think it's sort of fun. So what does question mark equal? Well, you remember the chant. 
a log is the exponent. So question mark is the exponent. I have to raise the base 2, 2 in order to get a fourth. So this is identical to the fact that 2 to the question mark equals a fourth. You see how I converted from a log to here? A log is the exponent. There's the exponent. I have to raise 2, 2. There's a 2 to get a fourth, to get a fourth. OK, 2 to what power gives me a fourth? This sounds like, gee, how would you do this? Well, think about it. If I want to make it a fourth, I've got to certainly have a negative exponent to flip it. And how do I get to be a 4? I have to square. So question mark should be negative 2. And if you, you can check. What is 2 raised to the negative 2 power? Well, that's 1 over 2 squared, which is a fourth. So we're OK. This checks. This checks. OK, so log base 2 of a fourth equals negative 2. Equals negative 2. All right, let's try one last one. How about log base 2 of negative 3? What does that equal? I'll call it question mark. How do I write that? A log is the exponent. Exponent is question mark. I have to raise 2, 2 in order to get negative 3. So 2 raised to the question mark equals negative 3. What does question mark have to equal? Give me a number so that when I take 2 to that power, I get negative 3. Are you working pretty hard trying to guess it and can't succeed? That's right, because there is no such thing. 2 to any power can never be negative, can never be negative. In fact, it always will be positive. So in fact, this really is a question mark because this is this complete garbage. So this is junk. So we can never take logs of neg negatives. Never take logs of negs, right? Because there's no way for me to think of an exponent that I can put down there which will make this thing equal to a negative. Not allowed, not allowed, not allowed. OK, so with that little word of warning and that basic little mantra going through your head, a log is an exponent, we embark upon a journey through logs.